going to be too windy to film but we are here in not so sunny Brandon area hiding in the marina because the weather's been awful and we had a little issue I think we mentioned it earlier the way where you've discovered the chain plates are moving oh the other the other one moved this one hasn't moved yet but um, yeah the it's a uh, something that's been happening on the boat for a very long time and because I've only just sealed up the deck plate with the chain plate uh, not so long ago um, it's very visual that it's happened whereas before because there was no indication as to whether anything moved up or down or not it hasn't been an issue but now that I've glued it and there's a very clear definition of if something can move, um, yeah, it's highlighted that there's a problem, so. chain plate uh, which is a little disappointing because um, it's a fully threaded bolt and not a shank bolt um, so what happens is these fully threaded bolts particularly what it appears is they've got a, the stainless steel chain plate stainless steel backing plate and it's clamping the bulkhead but there won't be any compression tubes or anything in there and what happens is the um, thread of the uh, bolt just turns into a saw and with it slowly loading cyclic loading on the on the uh, composite bulkhead it just chews into it rather than having a nice big smooth shank that sort of bears on the bulkhead um, but they did use uh, 80 grade bolts as opposed to 70 grade bolts which was cool um, so at least they identified that but yeah being fully threaded is, is not ideal um, so I'm going to just check now to see if I can get some fully shanked 80 grades if I can't get fully shanked 80 grades I'll check the um, fully shanked 70 grades will match unshanked um, 80 grades because uh, by having uh, an unshanked bolt here, particularly the area which is most in shear where the chain plate is, is actually only 8mm in diameter, not 10mm, because the th outside of the thread is 10mm, but the inside where it's actually solid bolt is 8mm, um, or just under. So a fully shanked 10mm bolt can equal the same strength as a unshanked uh, 8 mil but I've got to just double check that so go and uh, do some quick shear calc um, checks um, and see what I can and can't get if I can get fully shanked 80 grades then I'll get that if I can't then that's life so I've just checked the shear capacity of a fully threaded bolt versus a bolt with a shank um, and a fully threaded bolt in A80 versus a uh, shanked bolt at A70 um, and to go from this bolt which is the fully threaded A80 um, I have a capacity a shear capacity of 1.966 uh, ton uh, if I go fully shanked but in the lower grade A70 I go to 2.66 tons so I actually by increasing the area the area increase is far greater than the material uh, property upgrade um, so by even just putting a standard uh, a70 um, a470 shank bolt in there is going to be stronger, stronger in than shear that. than that um, by 35 percent mainly because it's threaded yeah, by reducing the diameter, you reduce the sectional area, uh, or by having the th threaded 
thread in there, it reduces the sectional area, which yeah. um, makes, it a smaller bolt. makes it a smaller pin to be sheared. Um, mm. And the upgrade in the um, in the, the 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 grade of bolt is not enough to oh, make a difference. The, well, I'll make a difference. The up the upgrade in area is better than the upgrade in uh, bolt capacity. Um, so. Uh, definitely it'd be a better option to go fully shanked fully shanked 80 grade would be the ticket um, if I can get those I'll get them but if I don't um, I will still be ahead of what I currently have and my guess will be that the original spec would have been for shanked 80 grade <laughs> ones <laughs> it's just somebody was cutting the corner but production boat building facility they would have gone hey okay i've got to get a grade 80s in this size and wouldn't have given a rat's ass whether they were shanked or not um, and all the rest the other pain in the backside is um when you get shanked ones to get the shank the right length the threads are always going to be too long so you've got to cut them all um so it's not going to be a five minute job changing these bolts out because I'm going to have to cut every single one of them uh, to the right length, etc, etc, etc. But I'm not going to do it with a four inch grinder and melt the nylock out of the nuts like they did uh, <laughs> at the factory. So that's another no-no. Uh, if you're cutting bolts, you don't use a four inch angle grinder with the nut on the other side with the nylock because the bolt heats up, melts the nylock and the nylock's completely redundant. Um, if you're going to cut the bolt, you do it off the job. File or sand, flap a disc, the radius onto the thread so the thread works properly, and then put the nylock on. Um, big no no. But I'm going to um, take some rig tension out so that um, when I remove the bolts inside, stuff ain't going to want to rip a chain plate out. So Why are you removing the bolts inside? i got to replace the bolts from fully shanked bolts, uh, from fully threaded bolts to uh, bolts with shanks because threaded bolts just tear through um, composite bulkheads, particularly ones that haven't been um, prepared with solid inserts or compression tubes and all the rest. So, um, I think we spoke about that before. Yeah, so. Okay, so then how are you just, how are you going to Oh, I suppose we'll video it rather than ask you. Say, so how are we going to hold it in place while we change over the bolts? Yeah. 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 Oh, I just do it one bolt at a time. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we've just discovered now, well, confirmed a fear that there is delamination in the bulkhead. Yeah. Yeah, just going to figure out the extents of the delam and what it means um, for us. So, um, um, so you can see there's the bulkhead, then there's this funny line through here, and that's actually where it's delaminated, uh, and it's actually dust and dirt that's got between behind the glass and settled in behind the glass and the foam. Um, this isn't the chain plate, this is actually the stainless steel backing plate that is on the other side of the chain plate and that's actually clamping it together. So what I'm now it's not delaminated over here, but it is delaminated over here. And what I'm interested in is whether it's delaminated from the backing plate out or if it's back, uh, delaminated all the way across to the other side of the chain plate. Um, so it's actually been like this for a very, very long time. Um, and I've only just discovered it and we've done what? 7,000 miles um, with it like this. And on the other side here, uh, it's can just see that's the line of DLAM there. Uh, it's this is actually a Kevlar patch that they put in, so I'm not worried about the chain plate actually tearing out because for it to tear out through the Kevlar is not impossible, but it's certainly very very difficult. That's one of the beauties. One of the only good things about Kevlar is is um, in shear tearing. Um, it's strong as hell, um, so it's not going to tear it out, um, but if we can't keep the skins all in column um, it gets really ugly really fast but um, so I'm replacing the bolt that's how I made this discovery um, and in the process of re uh, replacing the bolts I'll see what's delammed what's not delammed what's risk and what's not risk and whether we can keep uh, sailing or not or whether we're um, <laughs> Got another big project on our hands uh, right now. What you can see is there's the bolt and there's where the hole originally started. So you can see that the bolts have actually chewed up the bulkhead. Um, this one's pulled down a little bit. Actually, if you go up on the one above, it's a bit easier to see. So there you can see it's nearly a whole bolt hole so that's 10 millimeters that this chain plate has actually moved up since the boat was built um, and it's only because <laughs> I sealed the chain plate at the deck with Seekerflex that we've seen um, the movement and I saw it it's moved two mil when we did this trip down to the Canaries but this has been happening for a very 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 long time um, yeah um yeah <laughs> so now the decision is do we repair it here yeah or do we repair it in the canaries or repair it in the caribbean you can see where you're a point where the sicker flex has moved uh it's actually back down again so you can't see it so i pushed it back down clamped it all up um but i'm going to redo the seeker bead so that if it does move again, I'll be able to see it quite clearly. Right, because we're, after all of that decision making over the last couple of days, we've decided to go anyway. Yeah. And what was your thoughts in on that? Why is it not as risky as you originally thought? Um, well, one, it, it's actually been like that for quite a very long time. Uh, there's some gooder English. Um, so, that doesn't mean it's not going to ever fall down though. No. It just might mean you're running out of time. I am running out of time. But um, the state it was in when I first saw it was not great in regards to the bolts. So the bolts were fully threaded, they were loose. So it was like, well, of course it's going to move. Um, so I've dealt with the bolts 
so they've up, been an upgrade. Um, and um, so I've bolted it all back together, and it's all together nice and firm. So yeah, uh, but there's still there is. It's not a broken bulkhead. There is a the bulkhead where the plywood was. The plywood's gone all rotten. The skins are still pretty much intact, and that's that's the important part is the skins. And by putting the shanked bolts in there, the shanked bolts aren't going to saw through the composite like they were before. Right. So if you were watching this on YouTube and you've got rotten plywood in your chain plate area, yeah. Do you think people should do what you're doing and ignore it and go? No. Nah. So. So why do you think it's okay? <laughs> um, because I do know how to manage it um, and one of the things I will be doing is when we leave here this afternoon is I'm going to go for a sale and, and fully load it up um, and see if it does move because if, if it does move this afternoon then we're not going but if it doesn't move this afternoon then um, we'll go. So I'm going to load it up more this afternoon than we will doing the passage. Um, Unclutch. Yeah, uh, I think the, uh, the are still I can see 